Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full face with only kid makeup challenge. Uh, Nikki Tutorial started this I believe and um, I, as soon as I saw it I instantly knew I wanted to do this. Um, and I have a little sister that's going to get my makeup so or get the makeup at the end. Um, but I've already done a challenge um, so forgive me if this looks a little weird. <laughs> so um, yeah I went to went to Claire's and picked up a few things. I got a couple of different palettes and I got some brushes. Um, so yeah, I hope that you enjoy this. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started on this challenge. And this is definitely going to be a challenge um, with what I got. Um, I went to Claire's and um, I bought a few things. They didn't, at the Claire's I went to, they didn't really have any foundation, no BB cream, no no liquid foundation of any kind. So um, I had to find one of the palettes that had powder in it. Um, so I'm going to have to use powder as a foundation and on my dry skin that's going to be lovely. This is one of the palettes that I bought from Claire's. It's beautifully sparkly. Alright, so let's open this up. Here we go. And it reminds me of my childhood. It smells like kid makeup. Um, so this palette has a powder section and um, we'll see how this goes. It actually feels pretty smooth. So, um, And it comes with this cute little heart shaped sponge. So let's dig in. Let's see. Just give it a try. Now I did make sure to put a lot of moisturizer on before this because I knew it was going to be very drying on my skin. So, gonna get this and that's lovely. It's a little bit pink and a little bit dark for my skin, but let's keep going. Oh, wait, and it's very dark. It looks so bad. Oh my gosh. I really wish I could have found some kind of liquid foundation, but it was a very small Claire's and they didn't have they didn't have a whole lot to choose from. So this is really, really dark on me. Alright, and I also got at Claire's I got a so at Claire's I also got a makeup brush set and I'm gonna try and smooth this powder out and blend it out a little bit with this. And the brush is actually kind of cute. So I'm going to oh, try to soften this up a little bit. So it is very, very dark. Okay, so there's the foundation. It looks terrible, but um, okay. So at Claire's, I also found a blush. Now, the two palettes I got have blush in them, but um, whoo. But I saw this and I thought this might actually be a better option. So, okay, so this is a blush from Claire's, and it's um, it's actually a really pretty color. So we'll see if this has any pigmentation to it. It does. This does some blush. Try to make this look as good as I can. The oh. It may have been better without any foundation at all. Like it just make makes my skin look so much worse. And it takes a little bit, but there's there's some blush. All right, so I have a few options in eyeshadow, and I haven't really touched them much to know. Oh wait, there's highlight too in this next to the next to the powder. There's highlight shades. For me, I think this is more like a bronzer or blush and a highlight. Um, put this highlight and see if it does anything. Well, there's a, there's, a, oh, look, there, there's a little bit, a little bit of a highlight there. Can you see that? Just a little bit. Oh, that powder even made my lips dry. Whew. All right, so there was the highlight. Now, for eyeshadows, I've got a couple of good options. Well, this one has some very bright, colorful ones, but I'm excited about the white one. It's got a nice highlight shade. 
But this one, um, Kiss and Makeup, it's actually really cute, but it has some actually really pretty shades up here. This one smells really, really, really bad though, so like, oh. And we have a couple of different shadow brushes. Ooh. All right, so it's kind of a flat shader brush. It's the bigger one in the group. So I'm gonna go in with this brown shade, and I have no idea if this is gonna show up or not, but let's give this a try. Oh look, there's some pigmentation there. That's not terrible. It's actually quite a lot there. It's a little difficult to blend since I don't have a fluffy blending brush, but it's it's working. Since this is just a flat shader brush, it's harder to blend out, but we are going to make it work. Alright, get some more on there, and then go on this side. Oh, come on. It needs a little bit more blending, but that brown's not terrible. Okay, now I'm going to go into the next shade, this really deep purple shade, and go in the crease a little bit here. Ooh, wait, that's pretty. Look at that purple. We're going to put this on half the lid and then into the crease. Yeah, bad, not bad. We're getting somewhere. Alright, so on this side, we're going to do the same thing. This side is not as blended out as the other side, but my face feels so tight from all the powder. Oh, all right, I'm gonna go in with these smaller flat shader brush since I'm since I'm changing to a lighter color. I'm gonna go in with the pink shade, and I'm gonna do this on the whoa, don't fall all over my face on the first half of the lid. We're gonna just tap that on there because that's gonna fall everywhere. Uh, I'm just going to do that. <laughs> yeah, that pink's not sticking very well. It's kind of just fading into nothing. So, I want to add a little bit of pink on that eye, so I'm going to go in to the other palette and see if any of these work. I want to go with this super shimmery light pink shade. I'm going to get a bunch of this and see if it works. Here we go, just pack on some color. There's actually this little tiny brush in this one, and I think this is technically supposed to be a blush brush, which, seriously, is it for a baby doll? But I'm gonna see if I can use this to blend out the edges, because it's a little bit less dense. How's that looking? All right, so now I just need to highlight it. So let's go back to this one and see if the highlight shade does anything. All right, so I've got some of the white and I'm gonna tap it. Oh yeah, it does. That's some, some shine right there. Ooh. And then we're gonna put this on the inner corner too. All right, do the same thing over here. Just tap a little bit of this highlight here. And then the inner corner. Alright, so there's the eyeshadow. I think that that works. I think the worst part about this is the foundation. My skin just looks terrible. But that's okay, we're going to keep going on. Um, in here, there is this cute, cute little itty bitty eyeliner that I am going to try. It is so tiny. Let's see if I can get this to work. Wow, so I've been packing this eyeshadow on and look at it. And it like still hasn't covered all the veins in my eyes. And like, it's just like falling off. It's like not staying at all. Oh, I feel like I'm using a colored pencil on my eye. Okay, that one's not working very well. There's also one in this one. Kiss and Makeup. Um, so we'll see if this one does any better. 
Yeah, not doing anything. Okay, so next thing I'm going to try is just getting the angled brush and using the brown shade and just making this work for an eyeliner. So much better. This really makes me appreciate my makeup. It makes me appreciate my high-end sh shadows because this is looking crazy. Like, I need to put more on. <laughs> it keeps coming off. All right, so I have two mascaras and I think I'm gonna use them both because this one is a black mascara. This one is so cute. It is a clear glitter mascara. I'm going to put on the black mascara first. That's actually not terrible. And there's not much on the brush. But it's at least doing something. I'm going to use this glitter mascara. We'll see if this even does anything at all. Oh yeah, there's some glitter. There's a little bit. So now that is mascara. All I have left is lips. Alright, so in this cute little heart one, there is a lip liner. I'm not really sure if this lip liner is going to do anything since the pencils, um, since the eyeliners didn't. Um, but let's try. It's tiny. I feel like I'm just scratching my lips. Oh, my lips look like a desert. Okay, so I have pink lip liner on. And this one, we also have the tiniest little lip brush ever. I'm gonna start with this pink shade and see. Ooh, that's really goopy. See what this does. Yeah, that definitely looks like kid lipstick or lip gloss. I'm going to go in with a shade darker. You know, this brush actually worked. There it is. Alright guys, so this is a full face of makeup with using only kid makeup and brushes. That was hard. That was extremely difficult, but I've done it. Um, the foundation, the powder is extremely way too dark on me and it just looks like a, a fake tan and then my dark circles are just like kind of like emphasized because the rest of my face just looks so gross but the eyeshadow I made work um, it's not gonna last very long it's already coming off and then um, mascara was it did a little bit but the lips got some lip gloss so so that was my full face of using Just Kids makeup. Um, this challenge was fun and interesting. Um, now I get to give all this makeup to my little sister, which will be, um, she will love. Yeah, I hope that you do this challenge too. It's a lot of fun. And if you do, comment below. Uh, give me a link to yours so I can check it out. Uh, yeah, I guess that concludes this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay gorgeous. Bye. For the foundation I had to use, this powder. It's so dark and patchy, isn't it lovely? I will be taking this off immediately. <laughs> you can finally see it when you're done though. I mean, it smells really bad. Oop. <laughs> I have to cut out some of the blending because that's going to need lots and lots of blending.